All right, welcome everyone to this week's coaching call. Um, so today uh, we had a really interesting conversation with a new patient coming in. Um, and so just wanted to share some highlights about uh, what that conversation looked like and just some takeaways that um, was the case for this person, but honestly we see it all the time and I think it's a really great conversation and, and something that um, will help you look at your own health and um, maybe take a little bit broader perspective on how things are all fitting together in, in your health journey. So um, this person came in and she had previously had some neck issues um, that seemed to kind of be a little bit under control. Now lower back was kind of flaring up a little bit more. Um, you know, had gotten some muscle relaxers, which had helped, uh, and uh, but didn't take care of the issue. And um, so, since the problem has had not gone away, um, she's in our office to kind of figure out, okay, what's going on. And so, um, my one of my overarching philosophies is let's look at the whole body because it's all connected and. Um, what I found in, uh, uh, in practice and um, have found with a lot of other people is that um, one part of your body is drastically affected by all the other parts of your body. And so um, in my mind, it doesn't make sense to only address that one part of the body. Um, and I think that's an oversight to the medical community in general right now is it's um, extremely, extremely specialized. Um, and I think there's some good sides and some downsides to that. Um, if somebody goes to an orthopedic doctor and for lower back issues, they're really only going to look at that lower back. Um, they're not oftentimes factoring in what might have initially caused that issue in the first place. Um, and so, yes, you can get someone's lower back to maybe feel better, but unless you're addressing the underlying issues to begin with, it's going to come back again. Um, and in my mind, the goal is to not just keep repeating that until it gets bad enough that they have to have injections or surgery, right? Like, let's fix the freaking underlying issue to begin with if you're still at a point where that can be fixed. Obviously, if I'm going to have back surgery, if I'm at a point where I need a significant medical, inter medical intervention, then yes, I want the person who only does that thing. That's all they do. They're really good at it. Mm -hmm. um, however, if I'm not to that point, like I don't want to get rushed to that point or just have to put up with whatever it is until I get to that point. Mm -hmm. So, um, and you notice this a ton mm -hmm. uh, on the nutritional side of things mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. In fact, you were having a conversation today okay. that yes. was very similar, mm -hmm. just a little bit different scenario. Yeah. You got my mind thinking of, um, you know, digestive duress or, you know, when people come in and they've had a colonoscopy and, um, you know, there's certain things showing up. However, you know, we're, we're just looking at a very specialized, you know, we're just looking for very specific things and not necessarily the state of the microbiota of the gut microbiome. Like we're not looking, you know, yes, um, it's, it's easy to say, you know, ulcerative colitis. It's easy to say IBS, you know, D. It's easy to say some of those things and, and we're looking at that, but we're not looking at, you know, what's happening really, you know, with the pH and the intestinal wall barrier. We're not looking at um, maybe there's a huge overgrowth of candida. So like, I love it when you say, uh, the problem is is not the problem the 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 problem the issue the symptoms the symptoms right is it's not you want the symptoms to go away but right. there's also what caused the symptoms in the first, the first place, place not just here's a band-aid for the symptoms exactly to manage that forever ever and ever but there are you you can get much deeper in if you pull a lot of those layers back yeah so in the case from this morning, 
lower back pain. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, there's some issues in the lower back, but more so coming from the feet and ankles and gait and issues with the neck and upper back. So those had been going on for much longer and now we've got lower back issues that are, you know, a concern. But if we just do some things to fix the lower back, the underlying real cause of what's putting stress in the lower back is feet and neck. Mm -hmm. And in the neck, we had a reversed curve, really significant arthritis and degeneration. Um, you know, and, and if we had only looked at her lower back, we would have really missed something that is going to be actually a much, much, much bigger problem down the road than her lower back probably mm -hmm. will be. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, my conversation with, with this person is let's address all of these issues. Let's get your lower back feeling better. You're already doing some muscle work. Let's add some exercise into it. Let's do some work with your hips and pelvis. But honestly, we need to do a lot more work to your neck. We need to look at your feet and ankles. And then all of this is gonna start to compound and feel a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, but if we're only looking at lower back, then we're missing a really, really big part of her health mm -hmm. and the big picture on why she's having lower back issues to begin with. It's fascinating to see that puzzle come together when you recognize, wow, we've got a reverse curve, you know, um, in the in the neck, and how much pressure that now, how how much more her head feels like her skull feels like it weighs as a result of that reverse curve, and just the cascading effects that that has, like you said from the, the top down and, and the bottom up and mm -hmm. how, how that is a cascade and what happens to her body as far as the way that it needs to compensate just to account for now how heavy her head feels. It's like fascinating like to see it. Well, and as I'm walking through it and explaining it, she's feeling it in real life. Right. So her response was, I feel exactly what you're Describing I'm doing it right now. I'm doing it right now, which was Her head's coming forward. She's leaning back a lot to compensate for that So she's right. still standing upright and now all of her body weight, which she wasn't overweight to begin with But still there's gravity and and you have a body weight It's all putting stress on a couple of little joints in the lower back and Over time that just starts to wear out and you get some degeneration that does begin to happen and now you've got pain, but that's the that's the tip of the iceberg that's right. on what the real issues are mm -hmm. that's going on. Mm -hmm. um, and you can take this concept and apply it to anything in the body, right? Mm -hmm. High blood pressure, high cholesterol, oh. um, mm -hmm. right? GERD, oh. right? Mm -hmm. Like. Mm -hmm. just be on this medication forever because you have mm -hmm. acid reflux like mm -hmm. that is really mm -hmm. how many people have you helped with acid reflux so much and and I don't mind I don't want to you know I, I, I don't I, I could go on a real rabbit trail about that so you, you might want to yeah right? I, I, mean, I, I will go on a rabbit trail about that actually right now I think it's really important if you are on you know any type of a PPI which is a proton pump inhibitor to reduce acid reflux please come and see me um, we need to try to stop to the madness um, because what a PPI does is it completely um, decreases or, or or neutralizes or gets rid of any acid production in your stomach which which is really a very counterintuitive thought to me in my mind. And the reason that is, is because we need so much hydrochloric acid to break down our food, to, to, to break it down so we can actually use it um, for um, nut nutrient absorption, but it also creates the perfect pH balance in the system to ward off pathogens and viruses and bacteria and this microbiota that I'm talking about, this upside-downedness. You know, how many people now 
have a candida infection or have a dysbiosis in the gut because they're so neutralized because they're not producing any hydro they're not producing any hydrochloric acid. What's that going to lead so to? So their food Vulnerable is just sitting in the stomach and not being digested and fermenting in the mm -hmm. stomach, causing all sorts of chaos. Yes, sorry. And there is a way to. So usually it's you know when we get acid reflux. By the way. It's not because we have too much acid in our system. Most of the time, it's too little. That's right. Yeah. So. Which is really for people like mind bending. <laughs> like, why am I on something that reduces acid if I actually don't have enough? So, um, the reason you're having acid reflux is probably because, right? Yeah, it, it's very <laughs> counterintuitive. Yes. People would not typically know that. No. Um, but. We, you know, I know you've seen it. Yes, day tons in tons of times. Uh, there is a way to help that. There is a way. Um, and so, uh, you know, in general, my message today is really like, let's start having a conversation of if you're starting to notice something. It, sometimes, yes, you need to just address that one thing, but oftentimes it's. A lot of other little things that have added up and may be happening in different parts of your body that are actually causing that issue and um, it it honestly does take your responsibility to find somebody who can and is willing to look at how this all fits together not just here's a five minute appointment to talk about the one symptom that I have time to talk to you about today. Mm. Like people are tired of that. They're like the system is broken, right? Like and and I'm not saying I have the answers to that, but um I do know a lot of people are getting disserviced because we're only looking at one specific symptom mm -hmm. and not the whole person as a whole and understanding how their health is actually fitting together. Mm -hmm. And you can take this a lot of ways. And this is why I'm the first person to say chiropractic is not the answer for everything. Mm -hmm. Nutrition is not the answer yeah. to everything. Um, exercising is not the answer to everything. Sleeping is not the, like it takes you for yourself looking at how some of these things fit together and it's it can be very overwhelming mm. right because mm. social media says we need to cold plunge and and eat zero carbohydrates oh. or eat only protein right. or eat only vegetables and now it's this whole starch and thing that's that's been coming up a lot now you know it's like we get inundated with messaging on everything yes. we have to do in order yes. to be healthy be a vegan. right and so it's like there there has to be some balance there mm -hmm. and there has to be you know really understanding like where am i starting at where do i what are my actual goals mm -hmm. not just mm -hmm. like what's the instagram person i want to look like but like what are my actual goals right. and um you know beginning to come up with a, a um, a plan to yes. begin to get there and yeah. you know obviously we're here for that yes. but um, you know we're also not the only ones who should be part of that right you've got mental health you've got yes. a lot of other things but in general my encouragement to you is don't just look at what the symptom is you t take a broader picture and um, understand how the whole system is fitting together because this person was really amazed at how wow my feet are an issue uh, my neck was caught like all of these other factors are actually what's causing my lower back and now we get to address all of those things and not just make your lower back feel better right right like that's important yes um for a lot of reasons but um you know, I feel a lot better. I know you feel a lot better when we're actually being empowering somebody mm. to understand their body right. and not just oh, that's such a good point. Um, right. You know, 
here, let me fix this for you. No, it's, I want to teach you how these things are fitting together so that you can begin to discern and understand yes why you're having these problems exactly and then what you can do about it as well right it's so interconnected and and to to only isolate or address it one thing is such a disconnected from your power approach so really being able to lean into that it as you do x-rays i i'm always looking and i'm like wow like you know her spine his spine like this whole system is telling a much bigger story and it's so interesting to watch it come together Mm -hmm. yeah and there's you know there's so many other little messages inside this that that, yes uh, we could go down but in general that's the big one it's Mm -hmm. um don't get too wrapped up into just treating you know the one symptom that you have especially if it's not you not having any alleviation in that area that also was struck home for me to sure yeah, yeah you know keep on doing the same thing over and over hoping it has a different outcome but it doesn't and it's not getting better you know know when to and that's a, a, a great sign right like branch out. M- muscle work is is fantastic and should be part of the care but if you're getting muscle work done for months and it's not like this, the, the issues are still there, then there's another factor involved. And, and oftentimes, you know, what we see is there's structurally or, or inflammatory something else going on. And so I say the same thing. If I'm adjusting you and we're not seeing changes within four to six weeks, like we have to address what else is going on. I don't want to just see somebody for years and years and years and them not actually improve or get better. Right. So we want to address those other factors with people. So um, so hopefully this struck home a little bit with you today. I feel like a lot of people who come into the office are already like, yeah, I am more holistic. I do want to look at the whole picture. Mm-hmm. Um but some people just have really no idea where to start or how those things fit together. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you know, if we can help you with that journey, then we're happy to do that. And if we can't, we're very honest and we'll at least help point you in the right direction of somebody that can. But um, keep that in mind this week um, and start to pay attention to how the rest of the system all is connected to everything else. It's all interconnected, right? That's right. So um, until next week, have a great week, uh, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.